Welcome to LSRS Weekly View. We're discussing the Chinese currency this week. Uh, the PBOC launched RMB basket late last year. It has since been depreciating in a steady fashion until late this summer. It has now been going sideways for some time, despite pronounced yuan dollar weakness. So why is this? What's the implication for Beijing's policymakers' choices? Now, at the heart of all this lies the Japanese yen. It rallied very strongly this year. This allowed both RMB and dollar to move lower. In turn, this allowed the yuan dollar exchange rate to stabilize, and this eased fears of global deflation and Chinese capital flights. And in turn, this meant EM sentiment was uh, underpinned. So clearly, world markets gained from this sort of balance of risks driven by uh, yen strength. Now, this is sort of fading as a backdrop. Uh, the yen hasn't been going up for the last two months, um, and we think upside is capped now. Why is this? As three reasons. First, as uh, yields in the major markets move higher, GDP yields at the longer end have been responding. This means, in turn, less demand for foreign yield by Japanese investors, which means, in turn, less yen hedging activity, and this has been boosting the yen in recent months, so less of a tailwind from, from this perspective. Number two, uh, haven demand for yen is moving lower. Uh, world, world growth is sort of on a better footing this, uh, recently, so less haven demand is less, less, less support for the yen. And third, the BOJ's new framework, so fixing 10-year JGB yields at zero, uh, as DM yields in the US and Europe sort of move higher next year, and uh, Japanese, current, the Japanese bonds are, uh, are stuck at zero, then of course the yen will come under pressure. So all these factors suggest the yen's upside seems capped at this juncture. And this means uh, basing choices are more complicated. Uh, the RMB weakness has been a key lever of policy to reflate the economy. This is not getting clogged. The easy part of this depreciation in the RMB basket is clearly behind us. So uh, growth has been doing better in China. This has, of course, implied more debt buildup. And this dilemma between more debt and less growth is clearly coming to bind a bit more as the currency is not responding very well. So uh, in a sense, uh, you know, watch the yen to understand where the RMB basket is going in the, in the next few months. And clearly, you know, Beijing will have to find a way to uh, replace the economy without the, the currency uh, being on a smooth downward trend anymore. Uh, for more of this, please see our LSR daily notes.